Hello and welcome back. My name is Tiffany Brooks and for 35 years I have been an interior designer, fresco, mural artist, Venetian plaster, painted finishes, and I am so excited to do these DIY tutorials for you so maybe you can do some of these things in your own home. So this is a bathroom that was done 15 years ago. Oh my gosh, it is in need of a redo. So I thought I would just take some paint, a little bit of tile, and redo this whole bathroom. And this is something that you can do at home. Everything here is really simple. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do this really cute, simple, whimsical stripe. So let's get started. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take out any plastic mollies that are in the wall and patch. If you don't have any patch, you can always use flour and water and a little bit of salt. It works great. Mix it up, stick it in the hole, and let it dry, and then just give it a little sanding, and it's perfect. Okay, now we just need to get our paint ready. So I use a flat paint. I love Bare Marquee, that's my favorite. So you want the consistency about heavy whipping cream, and so you just mix water until it's about that consistency. And now I'm gonna use my amazing paint pad. I use this for everything. I love these so much. Uh, they're a little tricky to learn to use, but once you do, you'll fall in love with them. So we're gonna get rid of this pink paint. If you have a darker wall, you're gonna probably need to do two coats of the paint. So this first coat, I'm just kind of going over the wall, but I'm still staying in an up and down pattern because that is going to show through in your stripe. You want this kind of a strie pattern to go on with your faux finish. I'm using cottage white. That's one of my favorite whites. You can do that or Swiss coffee. So as you can see, I've got my first layer on and now I'm gonna do my second layer and this is the one that's gonna show the stripe. So I'm using the same paint. I'm going to use the paint pad and put it on as if you notice with the paint pad, I offload it by using an upward stroke and then I move down. Otherwise it tends to gather paint and drip. Now, if you see the strie pattern going on here, I'm just using a rag and creating it. So I'm just dragging a rag up and down on the wall and just kind of creating an up and down strie. So I've already created somewhat of a strie with the paint pad, and now I'm continuing it with the rag. So you want to do about a two foot section up and down your wall at a time so that it doesn't dry, and then kind of fade it out with the rag and then start on your next section. Now I'm going to measure the wall for the stripes. For smaller walls, I usually do 8-inch stripes. For larger rooms, I do 9-inch stripes. Okay, so figuring out the walls are really easy once you know the formula. So, for instance, this first wall is 50 inches wide. I know that I want 8-inch stripes, so I'm going to divide 50 by the 8. That comes out to 6.25 stripes. You do not want to have a quarter stripe in the middle of the wall. So I'm going to round up or down. 6.25 is closer to 6. So now I'm going to divide. So now I know I can have 6 stripes on that wall. So now I'm going to divide 50 by 6. And that's going to come out to 8.33. So each of my stripes is not going to be 8 inches, but 8.33 or about 8 and a third inches. I hope that makes sense. So you're going to have 6 stripes that are eight and a third inches. And now the other wall is 54 inches. So I'm gonna use the same formula, but with a 54 inch wall. So 54 inches divided by my eight inch stripes gives me 6.75 stripes. So now I'm gonna round up to seven. So I'm gonna make seven stripes on that wall and they'll be a little less than eight inches, of course. So I divide 54 by seven stripes and that gives me 7.71 which is about seven and three quarter inch for each stripe. I hope that made sense and if you have any questions you can always leave those in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer. So now I'm going to be measuring the wall. 
So I'm just measuring, this is the 50 inch wall, so I'm just doing eight and a third inch stripes and I'm just marking with the chalk and now I'm going to take my level and if you have a really small level you can always tape it to a stick. <laughs> so now I'm just measuring out the wall with chalk and because I'm doing pink stripes I'm using pink chalk and it kind of stains the paint just a little bit. You can use white, any color you want, but you will probably see it when you're painting. So now my stripe color, it's very, very close to the color that the wall already is because I want a really subtle stripe. So I'm going to mix paint, water-based varnish, and water together. So it's about half paint, half varnish, and just enough water to make it fluid so that when you paint it on the wall, it's not too thick, not too thin, kind of like cream again. And there's no real magic formula. It depends on the humidity, the weather, the wall. But if you just put a little bit on and you feel like it's too thick, you can always just wipe it off. So now I've got my magic paint pad and I'm just going to cover the area where the stripe is. And the nice thing about the paint pad is because it's so straight, you can just glide it right down the edge and right down the line of the stripe really easily. And when you get to the bottom, you're just going to take the rag and you're just going to wipe up and down with your rag again, just like you did the first time with the wall. And then I just take a dry brush and I kind of just push it up into the edges of the ceiling. So you're just going to do that with all the stripes. As you can see, you almost don't see them. They're really pale, but then when they dry, they do get a little bit darker. So here they are, and now we're ready to put the black stripe on. And remember, this isn't supposed to look perfect. Don't worry too much. So to do the black, I'm just going to take some acrylic paint, just some craft acrylic paint, and a very, very long bristled brush. I'm using a natural hair brush. You can also use a white soft synthetic brush. It doesn't matter. So I'm just adding some water to it just to make it easy to work. So kind of practice on the wall and just wipe it off quickly if it's not right. As you can see, it's pretty watery right here. But if it's too watery, it will not show the color properly on the wall. So there's kind of a perfect wateriness. Now I always use my pinky as a guide. So my pinky is always down as I'm coming down the wall. And as you see, I hold the brush back a little bit. It makes it easier to control the brush. And I'm just going to push and pull and push and pull. And that makes the, the stripe thin and thick so that it's a little more whimsical and not perfect. So I'm just going to go up and down the wall until it's done. And voila, it is finished. How cute is that? And then of course I took all of the hardware, the frames and everything, and I did a distressed shabby chic white on all of them. And then I did this cute little crystal window treatment. And there we are. It's finished. I didn't purchase anything new. I just painted everything I already had. The only thing new was the floor. So I hope you enjoyed this. And here's something cute that you can also do on cabinets. I'll be doing a video on that. This is actually a lot easier than it looks. But isn't that cute? And the Harlequin my favorite pattern. I'll also do a tutorial on Harlequin. So I hope I have inspired some of you to pick up a paintbrush and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.